Hi, what we're going to do here in this video is to make a sweep, but we're going to make a cut. And what I have here is a rectangular plate already uh, drawn, and I have a curve that, or a trajectory, which is already um, pre drawn. See it over here as sketch two. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click in the screen to make it turn blue so it's not selected yet. Go under insert, sweep, and cut. So now we're defining a trajectory here, and down here we're going to select a trajectory. So we'll select on a portion of it, and oh, select trajectory, and it gives up the different options here as to what we can utilize. So I'm going to utilize a curve chain, which is just a chain of curves, and I'll select this part here, and the chain options are gives me options that I could either select just a portion of this curve, but I'm going to select all of it. And I have an arrow which shows me that I'm pointing along the curve, shows me where I'm starting from. I'll say that I'm done. And again, I'm going to have free ends, and I'll say that I'm done. So here's my set of um, references that are going to allow me to define the location of my section. And I'll utilize the icon in the upper right hand corner to again view the sketch plane. And for this one, why don't we just make a simple circle? And we'll give it a diameter. Oh, how about 18? You can say that we're done. Now, the next thing, this is the only new thing here, is the material side. So if I zoom in here, you'll see that the arrow is pointing towards the inside of the section, meaning that we're going to remove the material inside this um, section. If it was pointing to the outside, I've I would actually make a protrusion, and everything outside of the circle would be removed. But obviously, I want to remove material along my sweep. So I'm going to say OK, and it says all elements have been defined. So now I can click OK, and there is my protrusion, or rather my cut. Now you might see that the line defining my, my trajectory is still um, defined here, so I could come in here, if I don't want to show it up in the rest of my, um, my drawings, I can always hide that, that's, that, uh, um, that curve, that sketch. Now of course we could come in here unhide the sketch and choose to edit the definition of the sketch itself. So let's just come in here and just grab a couple of these control points and move them about a bit to give myself a much different shape over here. And if I say that I'm done now, uh -huh. See, we have some features fail to regenerate, so obviously I made some of these curves a bit too tight. So let's go, let's go cancel to undo those changes, and let's try to do that one more time. So let's edit the definition, and let's make some more gradual changes to the trajectory itself. Let me just maybe pan it out here and remove some of these uh, big curves. Make it, and we'll drag this one down here a little bit. And maybe just drag this one in. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. All right, that should be enough changes, and we'll say that we're done okay now, and we've completely changed the trajectory of our of our sweep. Of course, we can come into the cut ID, and we can edit the definition here, and we could edit the definition of the section. And we could say define it, and it brings us back into a drawing menu. So again, maybe we could um, come over here and make a second <coughs> circle, and we could come down here and grab some tangents, and another one over here, and we can trim out the material that we don't want make ourselves uh, a full section. We'll say OK. OK. And there's our modified section. 
and again we can come back here and hide the sketch for our completed part. 